Hey, the man, it's your boy Papa Duck back with another video. Check this out. You do not want to miss this video. Make sure y'all share this video. This is very, very important. And make sure, like I tell y'all, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that like button so they can show this video to more people. Also, if you look below, you will see our merch store. Everything y'all buy for our merch store, all proceeds go back to this channel. This is how y'all can help us push this message because we need all the help we can get. So for y'all who have done that, thank y'all so much, man. I appreciate y'all. Now, this video I want to come to y'all with is about identity theft. And you, it's going to make so much sense. And we're not talking about, you know, uh, stealing your social security numbers. Not, no, we're talking about something way total, totally different. Identity theft is when you do not practice your culture, your primary culture, right? When you don't practice your primary culture, you are stripped of your primary identity and given a new identity. This is like when you see, and I'm not being disrespectful to nobody, but when you see a Jamaican, they be like, I'm a Jamaican. Bro, you don't talk Jamaican. You don't have a Jamaican tongue. Why? Because you've been stripped of your identity, okay? And this goes for Haitians. This goes for everybody. You get what I'm saying? Also, I want y'all to look at this too. The roles in today's society has been switched when it comes to a man and a woman. Why? It's been switched. Men have been made by God, right? The creator created men to have bigger muscles, bigger feet, bigger hands, bigger lungs. Why? Because we have a certain task. That we naturally supposed to carry out. Women, I love y'all to death. Women are made to be nurturers. Okay, strong nurturers. But in this society, we've been stripped of our natural culture. And given a whole new identity. But this is what happens when you get dictatorship. And people trying to consolidate all these different walks of life into one. This is how you turn a nigga to a European. Now, very important. I'm Haitian. When I was young. When I was young, Haitian women would bathe me as a child. Bathe me. Okay? Not only bathe me, they would feed me. I couldn't, I couldn't pick the spoon up and feed myself. If you're a Haitian woman, Haitian man, and you remember that, bro, put it in the comment. Because it was our culture. Try that shit today. And I'm not being disrespectful, but it's, it's going to be real hard for to get a woman to do that today. Because we've been stripped of our culture. And I, don't give me no flat, Man, I'm trying to get us back to where we need to be. Men are the same way. It was things that men did that they, they don't do no more because they've been stripped of their culture. Okay? You got to understand this shit goes way deeper than what I'm saying. I'm just scratching the surface. You understand me? But the roles have been switched in today's society because the people that run the world, the people that put this perception out there, they, got, they did away with our primary uh, culture. They don't want you to know where you come from. So if you don't know where you come from, you down to so don't know where you're going. It, it, it ain't going to happen. And like I said earlier, this is equivalent to a, a person. Just say, I'm just using the Jamaican as because as, as, I love y'all too. I'm just using the Jamaican as an example. You say you're Jamaican, but you don't speak it. Or you Haitian and you don't speak it because you've been stripped of your culture. Now, you may say, oh, you blame your mama. You want to blame whoever you want. It don't matter. This comes from the way the world is running and we... Us, you, we have nothing to do with it. Nothing. These people are stripping our culture because this is what they want to do. They want to consolidate all these different walks of life into being Europeans. The primary talk, the primary language is, is proper English. English. You ever see a child speak proper? Oh, it's over there. It's this and that. That's not how we're supposed to talk. And y'all might say, yes, yeah, it comes from the cartoons and the shit they see. But think about what I'm saying, bro. Think about what I'm saying. And when I say this, it gonna give y'all get a better idea what I mean. This is equivalent to seeing a Chinese man trying to talk like he black. This is equivalent to seeing a, a Japanese man trying to talk like he like he uh like he black. This is and this is another thing when women, black women, when black women wear long straight hair, right? You are portraying another culture's way of the way they way, way they um, way, way they hair. You've been stripped of your culture. And your identity. Black people have are nappy. And we've been sought, sought to believe that nappy hair is the worst hair. It's not. It's the best hair because it bonds. Not only that, it grows in a 360 degree angle. That's where you get the nap. The boing, 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 the nap. It grows in a 360 degree towards the sun just like a plant. Come on now. Straight hair goes down to the ground. This is not to be disrespectful. This is just putting your own game. 
you are disclaiming your identity. And who could who told who told black women to wear their hair straight like this? Or who told them to do this? And who told them? I didn't. Your mother didn't. But the motherfuckers that run the world did. They did it in ways where you didn't even know. They made popular what they wanted to make popular. And you know I already know if it's popular and it's what everybody's doing, then it's what everybody's gonna be doing. Cause who told you that? Think about it. Who told you where you had like that? Man, you can't get a person the way they have their natural health. And it's sad, man, because we it, it's like we we learn to hate ourselves, bro. It's hair. It's hair, bro. But when you don't when you don't when you don't hold claim to your own culture and your own identity, this is identity theft. This shit is real. The primary attire is what? Suit and tie. That's not how we dress. Y'all see a nigga in a, in, a, in, a, in a dashiki or whatever the case may be or, or, or dressing in his culture and you look down on him. Why? Why? Self-taught. We're self-taught to hate each other or to hate ourselves or hate where we come from because everything around us speaks European, Western way of living. But like I told you, if you don't call, if you don't hold to your culture or your identity, they'll give you an identity. You don't know who you is. This shit is just like raising a dog to be a cat. Tell me the difference. Tell me the difference. Everything we do is not of our culture. And you might say, "Oh, shoot, I ain't doing." I, I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm Haitian. I remember when they, I, they feed me, they bathed me. This was this was a cultural thing. It was a cultural thing. We we must get back to that. Because this is what we're doing today. It ain't what it is. Please. It ain't what it is. But like I say, when, when, when someone's controlling your education and controlling your environment, man, you can't do nothing but comply. You's a, you's a participant. It's going to take us to say, you know what, man, let's just, let's start wearing that Gucci shit. Or let's just start wearing that or start wearing this or... Or, or be, or, or even have days where we wear what we where we from, and that goes for me. That goes for all of us. I'm just bringing it to everybody's attention. Like, that, bro, one thing about me, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. But from what I see, it's crazy. I've been saw this, but like I say, this is what you call identity theft. If you don't have a culture or an identity, they'll give you one. And I salute all the all the sisters that wore their natural hair. Man, some people done dated women for years and they somebody never saw their natural hair. And, and again, I don't blame you. I don't. Because you're in a world where you don't control your education. You don't control what's in your environment to a certain degree. But when you wake up, you can start controlling it. So it's a difference. Okay? But when you in this world, man, I, I'm in that same world too, man. Growing up on that, that same old secular, low vibrational shit. Been done that. I don't blame you for it, but I'm bringing it to your attention. This is identity theft, and this is just a few things I'm touching. This is just video one. I'm gonna drop a second video to this, explaining other things in our lives, how we've been culturally stripped from our culture, doing this European Western world type thing, and how it's it's gonna affect us because it's snatching us away from who we are. This is why I say. Jamaicans should have a Jamaican school teaching Jamaican kids Jamaican culture. Haitians should have a Haitian school teaching Haitian, Haitian kids Haitian culture. Every every ethnic group or every every cultural group should have their own school teaching their kids about their culture. How the hell are we going to cons consolidate all these different nationalities and walks of life into one group of people? This one world order shit. One world religion, one world currency. Man, fuck that. You mean tell me we these people are stripping us from our cultures, ancestral shit. Like it's it's, it's sad, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. And a lot of these young Haitians, I, I grew up in the area where we got picked on in school as a Haitian. See, a lot of these young Haitians they had to go through that. Cause you know what they say now these days? Oh, you don't look like no Haitian. But what we say, what a Haitian look like? My real name, I got picked at by my real name. I have a name I ain't nailed none of motherfucker on earth got. But I'm just showing you that from a cultural standpoint, where we were and where we at. So 
Haitian these days today, and I can only speak by my people, they ain't got to go through that because they are a lot of them Haitian. They was born here. They already Americanized. They don't have that tongue. If I call my sister right now, my sister a straight boat, straight Haiti, still got the accent, and everything, and I love her to death. And rest in peace to my older sister. But what I'm telling y'all is a lot of these younger Haitians, just like the Jamaicans and all the other ethnic groups, they was born here in America. So they've been stripped. So, yes, it's going to take our parents to a certain degree to teach us this. Right. But I'm just showing y'all how the influence of the world can can distract our parents from teaching us this shit. OK, it's environment, bro. You don't control the environment. Yeah, you can say, yeah, mom, me, me, your mom po teach that. Yeah, your dad po. That shit sound easy. But your dad is in an environment they, they, they don't control neither. They, they busy doing what they're doing. So it makes it just that much harder for us to continue to keep our cultural tongue, language, our way of life. You know what I'm saying? When my, when my sisters them came from Haiti, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, my daddy say, Get them something to eat. And I was rushing because I wanted to meet them so bad. I rushed. I stopped by and got Popeye's chicken. I thought they'll eat. Man, they looked at that chicken like they didn't know what the fuck that shit was because they wasn't in, in their culture. It, it wasn't implemented in their culture. So it was like alienated. It was, some, it was like, what the hell is this? They holding that bitch up like a, like a fake $100 bill. At that time, they wouldn't touch it. They wouldn't eat it. But now they done been over here a little while, they done got Americanized a little bit. You get what I'm saying? And that's going to happen. But what I'm telling y'all is, if you don't hold to your own culture and your own beliefs and your backgrounds, right, and hold claim to your identity, your primary identity, these motherfuckers going to give you one. And they waiting. Because when they give it to you, you have no choice but then to pass it down to your kid. And then your kid, and when the generation goes so long, it's just like raising a dog. When that bloodline thin out, man, you ain't got you got a reindeer at the end of that motherfucking bloodline. So it's gonna be very it's, it's very important that we see this in this light. And hopefully, that's why I say, man, it won't help for me to have a billion dollars, man. Man, I, I man, bro, bro, I'll build a cultural school. I can do it now. I ain't gonna let no money stop me, but y'all get what I'm saying. I get in my feelings about this shit sometimes, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause I, I just look at it like, damn, my nigga, we living in the world, bro. We don't have no control over nothing, bro. And a lot of people feel it though they do, but they don't. It's a bigger picture. You feel me? If we had a school where we can culturally, it's okay to learn from Jamaicans. I love Jamaicans. I love, the, one of my best partners Mexican. You feel me? It ain't the fact that I don't like different people or different people don't like me. It's the fact that the world and the motherfuckers who run the world, they want us all to be Europeans. They want us all to be living the Western way. No, man, go back to your roots, homie. Go back to your roots, homie. And, 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 for, the, and for us, when we see people repping their roots, we respect that shit, homie. Respect that. You, you did? Respect that. So that's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, I ain't, I don't, you know, I'm always, I'm always positive. I come in peace. I don't want to disrespect nobody, but I'm just showing y'all how the motherfuckers that run in the world, right up on our noses, right in front of our faces, are converting us from Haitians to Europeans, Jamaicans to Europeans, Indians from to Europeans, all walks of life to Europeans. They want us to be like them. They're not going to be like us. They want us to be like them. And all I'm saying is this, bro. At the end of the day, you cannot raise a fucking dog to be a cat. Okay? He's a dog. But this is what's happening into today's society. So with that being said, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. And, and no disrespect to nobody. This is just to bring awareness to, to get people to see. And, and the thing about it, about the Western way of living, who the fuck want to live with no culture? That don't make sense. You ought to know, you know, in Haiti, you ought to know the soup that we eat every year, the beginning of the year. You need to know that soup. You need to know the type of things that we do. People think voodoo all bad, voodoo, voodoo. No, nah, bro, you got voodoo that protects you. Protects you. It's just you got the wrong information on it. Everything can be used as something good or bad. Hell, a car. I can run your ass over with a car. It can be used in a bad way, but it's not the beat. And these are the things we need to teach our kids. And if you want to share different cultures and learn different things from, 
foods and the way of life is, that's cool. But you should know your own culture and what you, you know what I mean, what you, and, 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 and what your background is, your ancestors, your own um, great aunties, grandmas, and all that good stuff. That's all I'm saying. So identity theft is real, bro. It is real. And, and, and I want black women to understand I ain't no disrespect to y'all at all. You know, I love y'all. I love all women. I'm just telling you, when we, when black women dress a certain way and put on this certain type of hair and do this certain type of thing, we disclaiming our own identity. It ain't nothing wrong with wearing your natural hair, baby. You feel me? Not all men like, like I'm one of the guys, I don't too much care for makeup. I like to see you. And I want you to see you. You know what I'm saying? Okay to wear your hair, you know. But wear your natural shit too, though. Let your hair breathe. Some of y'all hair just, you know, going bad because you keep it padded down under these caps and shit. Getting your hair done so much. No, man, let that let it breathe, man. Your fingernails, man. Your fingernails, man. You getting your nails done. Man, let, let your eyelashes breathe, man. Be yourself. It's okay, baby. Trust me. Don't 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 disclaim your identity, man. That's all I'm saying, man. That's it. You know? That's it. But with that being said, man, you know I love y'all, man. I just get in my feelings, man. I get in my feelings, man. I get in my feelings, man, about certain things when it comes to just people in general, bro. Cause I'm, I be I got a lot of questions I be wanna ask, man. I got a lot of questions, man. And I be like, bro, on why we here? Why do we go through this shit? Why do these people wanna rule up? Why do these people wanna run the world? Bro, I have so many questions and I just like this up, bro. I'm at ones with myself, and, and, and I know I vibrate to those, and y'all know I'm come off with disrespect for me. I'm just speaking me, speaking how I feel, man. And uh, this is that identity theft is real, man. We've been stripped of our identity, man, and given a whole new identity. This is not us. We need to get back to to men having the men role and the woman having the the woman role. And then when we see other people do that, that's how the energy, you know, go. You know, it's just like my brothers. All my brothers and cousins are married. Why? Because them boys start seeing, hey man, he married, he met that energy, man. That energy just, that's how energy go. When, when everybody doing something positive, if it's 10 couples out there and, and nine couples opening the door for their lady and feeding their lady, that 10th couple gonna do the same thing. The energy gonna transfer us. It doesn't go anywhere. And that's what we need to do. We need to all collectively come together like our cells and our bodies. How ants, we need to live in a colony. We need to experience things together. You know what I'm saying? And come together so that we can, our energy can feed off each other, bro. That's just what it is. So energy is real. But with that being said, man, you know, I love y'all, man. And, and like I be telling y'all, man, no disrespect. But, hey, in order for your ass to be found, you must first be lost. I'm out.